Correct. Yeah, and we we want to, and I'm sure you're helping your customers avoid that risk, right? And customers such as the ones you're working with today and organizations, they're hearing the buzzwords, the predictive analytics. It's important, and it's important to my organization to be data-driven, right? Can you talk about the what and why predictive analytics is important for your customer's organization and the value it brings? Sure. Any analytics decision should be data-driven because data is objective. Data doesn't have an opinion. It's just there in the form of numbers and sometimes text. Those texts support, support those numbers. However, there is truth to the statement that numbers don't lie. <laughs> but in all seriousness, predictive analytics allows an organization to be more proactive in anticipating outcomes based off of data from previous events and current events not just from hunches and assumptions, which would be subjective. You want to gather your data. Gather your data by data mining and data blending. And that could be a multitude of different data sources, which we touched on in the last question. You may have customers uh, that have data. You get, depending on your, your vertical, you may have uh, data that comes in from sensors, like what we did at Whataburger. You may have you know, appliances from like stoves or refrigerators that give you data. You may have other data. You may have external data, a plethora of different data sets. You want to gather all that of what's happened in the past. You also want to monitor what's happening now. At that point, you want to compile those two data sets of what happened and what is happening to set the table so you can build a predictive model that could possibly tell you what happens next. So in order really to start that predictive modeling process, you need to understand what you had and what you have, pull that together, figure out what factors really stand out and build your model off of those factors. Predictive models can help you prevent revisiting store poor strategies that may have contributed to unfavorable results and shed light potentially on new strategies that could lead to better results. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You want to take whatever use case or whatever initiative that you have is an, and improve it. Improve it as an organization, improve it as a government, improve it as a, or, uh, a school or whatever it may be for your particular environment. You want to get better. and But not just get better because assuming everything's wrong. You want to get better and saying, what's working? Keep that going and add to it, you know? That's a, that's, you use data to do that. Let, you, let your numbers help you make the decision. It should force you to look at those numbers and what they're saying, not ask a whole bunch of subjective questions to disprove your data that's already there in front of you. Yeah, and Chris, you said it best, like in the quote from Jay-Z, numbers don't lie, right? So that is true. But how are you looking at that? How are you analyzing it? And, you know, just to, to dig more into that, you know, as you talk about the predictive modeling, as you talk about digging more into the data, what do you see is one of the biggest challenges for these organizations, right, to incorporate, let's say, predictive analytics, right? So two of the biggest challenges I see constantly when it comes to discussing predictive analytic is lack of data and focus. Uh, so let's discuss the focus portion, portion first, because the lack of data doesn't matter if there's no focus on the initiative. The rest of the effort is really futile at best. So it's almost like herding cats to try to simplify this effort. I always, always, always try to start off with one or two items that they would like to predict. For example, let's take future sales for a particular manufacturer in a certain region. Once you focus on a certain question or a use case, we need to take inventory on what data sources you have available to answer that question or those, those use cases. Gather that data and see what you have. So let me stop there because once you have your question established and once you have your use case established, there's your focus. That's your only focus. All this other stuff is peripheral noise and it will cloud you from trying to actually figure out what you're trying to do. So I always start once, one or two, just really get two uh, points down and figure out what those are. Agree to that, then move on. Now you gather the data and see what you have. With the data that you gather, you may be able to identify holes in your data. And that time you may need to implement a process to fill those holes, whether it be acquiring access to new data sources or new data, 
or revamping a process to get more data from existing data source that you already have. From there, create, create, test, and deploy your predictive model, analyze your results, and implement a set of objective strategies. Keep in mind that this whole process is completely cyclical until you figure out exactly what your model is perfected to be. So you're gonna run into, you're never gonna be perfect the first time around. You, you may have a great start, but the fact that it's cyclical means that you're gonna look at it and say, okay, maybe we should put more emphasis on, on this um, type of thing. Maybe we should, the data is telling me that I should focus on this factor. And do I have all the data necessary to really uh, emphasize what that factor is? And it, if it's yes, then great then now you have a, a model that you have 100% or at least pretty close to 100% confidence in. If it's not, then you need to figure out what data will make your confidence a little bit better. Remember all of these predictive models, what they're gonna yield are numbers and probability and everything that, that those numbers are gonna tell you is what your next move will be. So you really wanna put everything you have into that predictive model. And the methodology to get that model correct is also important because this is something that you're going to reuse to create all of your models with anything that you wanna predict the future of.